Hello everyone, this is Mesolite Visual with another video. In today's video, we're going to look at Move tool to create the skyscraper concept using multiple morphs. Without any further ado, let's get started. Start by picking and draw a box of a morph by 3.5 uh, dimensions with a height of 5000 uh, millimeters. Then activate the elevation window. Um, pick the top vertices and pull it back by 900 and then do the other corner pull it back by 900 don't forget to do the opposite uh, vertices pull it back and then activate 3d window there are lines that are not necessary in this one so we're going to undo it and do it a different strategy i'm going to draw a line that will represent um that slant and then we're going to subtract it with uh, a morph so basically pick the parameters of this and then draw a morph of that shape that we're going to subtract and then from there we're going to go to the plan and then move it back to the position my q and 3d window pick the surface and on the pet palette pick uh, extrude and then go to the plan uh, mirror a copy and then subtract the two objects to remain with the main move in this case we're going to have a clean cut uh, of tapered move without any unnecessary lines so this is clean go back pick the center and then add a vertex at a point there and then pull it back or pull it out by to the edge do the same to the other side insert the point and then move the vertex to the to the line i will also do it on the other side pulling back by 500 to the other side also Pull it out by 500 and then check on the 3d this is the result of what we're trying to achieve i already created some objects that are going to use in this operation and then i'm going to take the, this one and move to the top of that move and then go to plan view and uh, also pick the center and insert the vertex pull it out by 500 do the other side pull it back by 500 uh, and then check on 3d go to elevation and then rotate this object Rotate it and then position it to the underside of the top one. This is what we want to achieve. We're going to also increase, depending on what you want to, to achieve as a designer. I'm going to increase this by 500 as well. Pull it out by 500, both sides. Perfect. yeah uh, i'm going to move this one top and then i'll mirror a copy of this or copy and then rotate it because you can't mirror a copy in in elevation so this is what i want go to 3d and check uh, the results perfect it's almost there our skyscraper Okay, I also pull it back the vertex by by let me say let me say five hundred from the bottom just to as a designer you want to explore your design so 
I'll also do it in the other side to see how it will pull it out by 500. And then check the result. Increase this one by 500 as well. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result. I'll select all the multiple moves and then union them. Now it's, it's a complete um, object. It's a whole object. We're going to duplicate a copy on the plane with the same point. And then we're going to uh, pick the center point and control K to scale the copy. Scale down the copy to create the width of the, the shell. And then I'm going to subtract this using solid element operation. Draw a slab that will represent the flows. Then continue. Make sure it's home story. It's, it's make sure the home story is uh, appropriate. And then this is what I meant. Make sure I mark you cutting the object into half so that uh, I can access all the objects. And then connect solid element operation. I'll pick the internal internal morph as a as a as an operator. As an operator and then the outside one is target and then subtract convert the outside one to morph to kill or get rid of the life operation of solid element then change the outside morph to glass material delete the inner morph now before you delete let's duplicate um, vertically the the slab representing the number of flows of this gas grab redo and undo and redo to select or oh, it's, it's a nice trick um, when dealing with multiplication in 3d wind so pick the slab as target and then the inner morph as operate and then intersect after that convert the slabs into morph to get rid of the life operation and then that's when you can delete the inner morph delete yeah this is the result the slabs are in place i'm pretty happy with how it came Everything is smooth. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm sure you can do better than this. You can add more details. Go to plan view and then show all in my queue. You can add a lot of details if you want. It will depend on how you want your design to, to represent. I'll add um, the structural column that will support this whole structure in the center point. Just use a column two and place it in the center of the structure. And then make sure it sits on the mid on, on both mid sides. Okay. Uh, it has to go all the way to the top. Select it and uh, stretch to the last slab to the top floor. Then we can increase the size of the column 
by 50 so far. Okay. Yeah. I hope this gave you an idea on how to approach architectural concept for creating skyscrapers. In the next video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on creating skyscrapers that are on the background. So make sure you keep posted for, for that video, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, and comment below. And if you are new to this channel, hit subscribe and notification bell for more videos. Thank you, guys.